Hello, welcome to another video by Moxon Marine. In this video, I'm uh, repairing a uh, cast iron carbureted intake manifold for a 4.3 Mer Cruiser V6. Um, the intake is overall in pretty good shape. There's some rust in some of the ports, which I've already tried to clean out, but um, there's corrosion and erosion around the water ports on the front that um, may cause the intake gasket not to seal good. So um, I'm repairing it with epoxy. So I mix some uh, JB Weld, just a standard JB Weld. And um, what I do is I stuff a rag down in the hole so that the epoxy won't flow down into the hole. The rag keeps it from going down in there. And um, then I just pile on the epoxy on the outside to form up a big blob on the outside. And then I'll later come down and come back and sand it and shape it to uh, match the original contours of the hole. And um, actually what I do is I lay a gasket on top of it and then I uh, match the contours of the, um, you have to sand it flat with the surface first and then you match the contours and grind it out with a carbide grinder. And um, I've done this before on another manifold that fixed it, so I'm doing it over here. Again, you put a rag in there to keep from wasting a lot of your epoxy. If you don't put the rag in there, epoxy will flow. It'll flow down in the hole and uh, you can get it out, but it wastes your epoxy. It doesn't go where you want it. So by putting the rag in there, it keeps the epoxy out here on the on the opening where it can uh, patch the hole. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, the epoxy is uh, still wet, so it's slowly flowing. Um, since the uh, intake is on a slope sitting on its bolts, um, it's slowly flowing uh, down to the, uh, to the left, but um, it'll harden and uh, and it'll stop flowing so i've got both holes covered up like i said i put a rag in there the rag is to or, or the uh, paper towels to keep the epoxy from flowing down into the hole i don't want it to go in there i want to stay outside on the surface to repair the surface and then i'm going to come back and uh sand it smooth you uh use coarse uh either you can use it almost like a flat disc or something else to get it almost down to the bare metal you got to be careful that you don't get out of the metal Get that surface down and then finish up with finer and finer um, sandpaper to get the uh, repair surface uh, surface even with flush flush with this face here then you trace out the intake gasket hole and then you grind away to the outside of the edge of the hole or the inside edge of the hole and that's how i repair uh, intake pa passages so this is in pretty good shape other than these two holes it had some erosion and uh, corrosion so wondering to fix that real quick and uh, by morning this thing should be ready to be ground and repaired okay I have now um, sanded down the uh, epoxy area smooth with the flush with the surface here and um, I then went back and uh, marked on the uh, surface everything inside or everything on the black line is going to be taken out with a carbide tip grinder I got this uh, air powered uh, like carbide bladed uh, grind tool and so I'm gonna gouge out all this all the way out to the edge of the black line right there all the way across. And that should clean this up and get it back to a uh, repaired state to where it'll seal on the gasket. You can see where the uh, epoxy is filled in, in in this area right here. This, this is all corrosion all the way around through here and the epoxy's filled in some. The epoxy chipped away right there, but I checked the gasket actually rides a little bit outside that spot right there, so it should be okay. My main areas we're concerned were right in here where the uh, corrosion was worse right through here along the bottom edge so this epoxy's cleaned that up over here on the same this one the same way the epoxy's cleared up this whole perimeter around here so all right the intake is now repaired uh, you see how the epoxy filled in the corrosion around the perimeter of this hole there was corrosion all through there and down through here and then around over here so the epoxy filled in that corrosion um and so this this side's repaired over here the epoxy field and corrosion all the way around here and over through here, right here, it chipped away when I was trying to uh, sand it away or, or grind, I ground the, the big stuff away and some of it chipped right there. So um, that's not chip, that's actually uh, Sharpie, black Sharpie, but so, but the, I checked and the seal actually rides out here outside that corrosion, so that's okay. There's, the seal doesn't sit on that part, but the seal does fit right through there. So this is repaired right there. So the tank's repaired and uh, about to put it on the engine. It's cleaned up and ready to install. I just want to show you what it looked like when it was installed. You can see I've got the uh, gray silicone ultra oozing out of the front. That's the front seal there. And that's about the right amount. You want coming out. 
Um, and then, of course, uh, I don't put any sealant on the these holes here where the gasoline and the air flow through. I do use some sealant on my water ports here, 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 and here. And then again, you got some more coming out the back here. This uh, about the right amount you want to see. So um, this is all sealed up. And uh, these bolts are tied down in a sequence. There's eight bolts. You go, you start off, you do it in three passes. You go 27 inch pounds, 27 inch pounds, 27 inch pounds. Let's see, then 20, let's see. 27 inch pounds, 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 and then 27 inch pounds. Then you move up to 106 inch pounds and you do the same pattern again, 106, 106, 106, 106, 106, 106, 106. 106, 106, and then the final is 11 foot pounds, which happens to be 132 inch pounds. Again, there, here, there, 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 and there. So all these are final torque to 11 foot pounds. Next is to install the uh, thermostat housing here. Um, I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit more and then put the thermostat on housing over the new thermostat gasket. And then uh, the carburetor goes back on here, and uh, it's moving right along. So this thing should be uh, should be completely put together by tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching.